All right, let's have a look for the Dumbbell Nebula. Uh, let's get oriented first. Uh, so we're looking between the tip of the Northern Cross, the star Alberio, or Beta Cygni, and the little constellation Delphinus, the dolphin, which actually looks like a little dolphin. And in between those two points is the constellation Sagitta, and, uh, and also Volpecula. Now, before we get to M27, which lies just off the tip of the arrow of Sagitta, as you can see in this map, we're going to have a look right in the arrow at a small cluster M71. And it is actually a globular cluster. All right, I'm just going to get some light on the camera here. It's going to take a few seconds. So M71, it's a, a globular cluster, but it is fairly spread out. And for quite a while, astronomers thought it might be an open cluster. But by uh, analyzing the, the stars and the spectral signature of the stars, they conclude it, uh, it, it is a globular cluster. It's about 13,000 light years away. Pretty close. Um, in a small scope, it's not very bright at about magnitude 8. And you need about 100 power to start resolving the stars in the halo. Now the camera here cracks it quite nicely, and you can see the cluster lies in a very nice field of stars. And uh, the cluster also looks a little bit arrow-shaped or, or Y-shaped, but it's a very pretty field here. So this is well worth a, a look before you visit the more famous uh, object, M27, next door. And we'll go there next. Okay, let's turn to the Dumbbell Nebula, M27 now. We'll just uh, build up some light on the camera. So this is a planetary nebula. It's a star throwing off its outer layers in its uh, last stages of life. And the planetary, here it is. This planetary is quite a bit bigger uh, visually from our sky than the Ring Nebula, for example. It's uh, pretty close, about a thousand light years away and one light year across, which is why it looks uh, so large. Now, this is a, it's a fairly bright nebula, neg magnitude 7, so you could see it in binoculars, and um, even a small telescope will show you this, this dumbbell, this bipolar dumbbell shape. It's quite easy to see, although in a telescope you won't see color like you do with this camera. And um, the central star that's throwing off this layer is about magnitude 14, which is quite faint for a telescope, but I think we are getting a glimpse of it here in this image. So that, that star will settle down after it's finished uh, throwing off its outer layers into, into a white dwarf stage, and it'll just slowly cool over the many coming billions of years. So if you can uh, get out uh, this weekend or any time to have a look at this nebula, I highly recommend it. it it's on the, the, the must-see list of most beginners, and it's one of the favorites of, uh, of uh, more experienced stargazers, too. So until our next tour, that's it, and I uh, wish you clear skies.